Hello guys and uh, welcome to today's uh, training session. So uh, today I wanted to try and emulate some of the um, events on the competition I'm doing on November the 6th. So one of the events is a bag toss, so I thought I'd start with that. Uh, so the plan for today was to do five reps because I've got to do five bags in the competition. Um, the bags in the competition, I believe, are 18, 20, 22, 24 and 26, but I don't have them sort of bags. So the plan today was to do three reps with the 20 bag and then two reps with the 25 bag, as I believe that that would closely emulate the weights in the competition. So I got three reps with the 20 bag and then I went straight for the 25 bag. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any reps with the 25 bag. It was nearly close there, but didn't quite get it. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, three reps is all I get given. Um, I am hopeful that I might be able to do a bit more on the day uh, because with this, I have to be, I'm very wary and I'm trying to be careful to make sure that I don't hit anything. Whereas at least on the, the day, I will be able to just let loose and all that. The um, sandbag toss will be held outdoors. So I won't have to worry about hitting the ceiling or hitting any other equipment or whatever. I can just go straight for it and do my best so maybe i might do better um uh, bag toss has never really been a great event for me i remember i did a competition in great dunmo four years ago and it was five kettlebells um over a four meter bar and out of the five kettlebells i only managed one of them and that was a miracle so uh yeah i'm not really holding out a lot of hope for the bag toss but i'll go in there and do my best so um another one of the events is an axle bar deadlift and it's 280 kilos for reps in one minute. Uh, now, if you notice, I'm standing on uh, that box there, so I've made a two-inch deficit because in the competition, it's going to be axle bar deadlifts from a one-inch deficit, 280 kilos for reps. So I'm warming up here. This is my last warm-up at 240. Although it's a one-inch deficit, I thought I would try two just to try and make it a little bit harder. And today was just to, yeah, basically just do a mock um, event, basically, and just... To just give me an idea of roughly how many I'm likely to get on the day. And I'm sorry to have to report I only managed to get one. And this was basically a grind, as you can see here. I I just about got one rep by the skin of my teeth. So uh, I've got to say it doesn't bode well, really. It's not looking good. But you never know, I might be able to... I mean, just one inch uh, can make the difference. So you never know, I might... And I have 60 seconds, so I might be able to pull out a second rep if I'm very lucky. But to be honest, let's be honest, I, I can't see it, to be honest. I think I will be lucky if I get one. I've just got to make sure I rest up the right way. So after that, did Romanian deadlifts, 180 for 8. This was okay, actually. This felt all right. I, I think I easily could have done 200 for 8. Uh, but I was a bit fatigued from doing the sandbag toss and from doing the axle deadlift, so I just left it there. After that, I did deadlift with no straps. This isn't in the programme. To be honest, I'm, I don't even really know why I did this. Um, I just went up as far as 260. I probably would have gone a little higher, but this felt tough. This isn't actually the regular deadlift bar I use. It was a power bar. And that was, that was hard as well, so I just stopped there. I thought, I'm not going to bother. After that, I did stick with the rest of the programme. So I did my lap pull-downs behind the neck, three sets of eight. And... Uh, yeah, started off with 61. Uh, and then I went up to 75 on the second set. And then I believe I finished on 89 for the third. Um, on deadlift day, it's always important uh, to, to do your rows. Don't forget your rows. So I like to do um, horizontal rows and vertical rows. So it's always good to do something like this. Three, two to three sets is generally okay. Sometimes four don't always need a lot more than that so um after this my next training session i think will be on monday and that'll be mainly i think i'll do front squats first and then it's mainly a pressing session but um with the exception of front squats i'm going to try and take it easy on that and then i'm going to um i'm going to do frame carry and sandbag to try and mock that how that will be on the day of the competition and just see if I have any better luck doing that. So I think around Thursday or Friday will be my last heavy session. After that, I'll do a deload. And, yeah, just try and get some recovery in so that, as I say, hopefully 
by the time the competition day rolls around, I've got my rest to recover in. Um, like I said, no, I'm not going to win, but that's not the point of it. I'm just going to go down there and just do the best I can. Um, I wasn't really pleased with the actual deadlifts. Like I said, I'm not expecting a lot from that, really. But if I can do well at the other events, then it should be all right. And with the actual deadlift, if I can just get one rep, that may be okay. You know, I might get lucky. There might be a couple of other guys there that might zero it. So if I can just get one rep, at least that's something. Okay, so that's my rows done. Did a bit of weighty plank. Uh, for abs uh, since this is the last week of me doing this I thought I'd up the ante a bit and go a bit heavier I believe I think 12 and a half kilos was as high as I went uh, so did 15 kilos there for 30 seconds it was supposed to be 3 sets but I only did 2 I've got to admit after doing the axle bar deadlift I was a little bit dejected really um, so uh, the rest of the session I, I decided to take it easy and not push it too hard so I, ma I made the last one 30 I thought well this, this is the last one so I'll push the weight a bit now just in case you're wondering how I get the weight on my back without a spot or without anyone helping me that's how so there's me putting the 30 kilos on yes I could have asked someone to just put the weight on but I couldn't be bothered um, that's probably about the, the most about uh, 30 or 40 kilos is the most I can probably get on by myself if I wanted to get um, 50, 60 kilos plus then yeah I'd have to ask someone to put the weights on it's important when you're doing weighted planks to make sure that the weight goes on the lower back not on your shoulders or higher or in the middle you want it the weight just there on the lower back that's uh, the most effective for doing weighted planks uh, so yeah I pretty much just made this my last one last set of this so uh yeah like i say as far as the actual deadlifts go um it's it's like i say it's not boding well it's not looking good but like i say if i can just get one that's better than nothing and like i say to do axle bar deadlifts at 280 kilos on an axle bar on a two inch deficit that is it's a heavy weight and it is a very disadvantageous position to be in so like I say, hopefully I can match that on the day. Maybe, like I say, if I can get two, that'll be brilliant. Uh, if if it's a struggle, I will just stop at one because I don't want to go for two and really have to grind a second one out and then I'm buggered for the rest of the competition. I do want to save some strength because it's going to be all the events are going to be hard. All of them, I'm going to struggle like hell. So I just finished up with uh, dead hangs. This time I decided to go thumbless to make it harder. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please don't forget to like and let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll be uploading again soon.